More now on a historic night for Northern Ireland's women who are through to a major tournament for the very first time in their history. They'll play at next summer's European Championships after beating Ukraine 2-0 in Belfast to secure a 4-1 success in the playoffs. Let's speak live now to, I'm sure it's a jubilant manager, Kenny Shields. Kenny, Northern Ireland women into their first major finals. How does that sound? Yeah, uh, it's, I'm really, really happy for everybody because, you know, we have been uh, easy picking for quite a number of years and we've got, it, we've got our act together at last and I, I can't congratulate the girls enough. It's, it's one of the greatest sporting achievements by any team worldwide, but certainly it's the greatest achievement in the UK when you've got amateur players getting through to the finals of a professional tournament. It's, it's an unbelievable achievement. You say it's an historic achievement. You just mentioned how big an achievement it is there. You really believe that? Worldwide achievement? Oh, without a doubt. I don't know anyone who's taken amateur uh, participants and put them into a team and won a prof or qualified for professional tournaments finals. I think it's an unbelievable achievement. These girls are something else, I tell you. Kenny, what have you said to your players after that game? We had a wee chat there about it and we told them to believe in each other. We always do that and uh, the trust that they have in each other and the integrity that they have are all uh, characteristics that you need to have a successful team in any sport. And the dynamic and the chemistry of the team is right up there with anything I've ever managed. You're there on the touchline there, Kenny. Just how nervy a night was that for you? I was nervous today, but when I got to my pastoral home on the pitch, I, I felt more comfortable. And I looked at the girls and I watched them in the warm-up and I thought, the buzz is still there. They're in the zone, they're ready to go, and let's go and get it done. And, and they didn't let us down. We didn't play uh, as well as we can but with the ball, but defensively, I felt it was an incredible uh, how we did it, where we restricted them to maybe one half chance. But we're talking about a, a country of uh, close to 50 million people and these girls are working, going to work in the morning again, so what an achievement. Kenny, the one downside, I guess, no one was there to see it and to celebrate with you, but that will change, hopefully, if everything goes yeah, according miss... to plan next summer. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, the pandemic has reduced considerably. We feel very comfortable, but the restrictions haven't and the restrictions have been very, very tight and stringent. And I have to say that, you know, it's been very demanding. Uh, personally, I feel on myself, I, I, it's been, it's like been to hell and back over the last year in terms of restrictions and training and all of the things you want to try and do to help the team get better. Then you're told you can't play friendlies. Our girls haven't played since December, apart from one game against England. And we had to play matches amongst ourselves. We couldn't play against... Because Northern Ireland's restrictions are different than England, Scotland and Wales, where the players were not allowed to play. And, and there were so many things that we couldn't do. We have to self-isolate now after the match. Uh, if they were professionals, then they can go back to their place of work, which is the football. But these girls can't do that. Kenny, it was all worth it. Many, many congratulations again, Northern Ireland's women, through to their first major finals. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.